Hey everybody, welcome back to the Back Nine here at the Dynamic Discs Open. We're in Emporia, Kansas at Jones East Park. I don't know if it's my favorite course in town, but it's it's right up there. It's pretty close. It's yeah. probably the course I play the most. That's what I think too. Yeah. Robert McCall on the mic, joined today by Eric McCabe. What's up? We are consistently sweeping the leg. We are. Uh, tournament leader Kyle Webster sitting at 17 under par. Mark Anderson making a nice move uh, through Solid the first putting. nine. 13 under. Smitty making a move as mm -hmm. well, sitting at 14 under, just three back of Kyle. Brian Shintaku, nine under, and he's going to be joined at that score by Billy Engel, sitting at nine under as well. We've got some fireworks on it's the front been, nine. It's been great. I'm excited for the back nine. Yeah. 340 feet, downhill, hole number 10. This is, this is probably one of my second favorite par threes on the course. Yes. It's just such a fun little uh, downhill tunnel shot. you got to end up in the tunnel. Um, we saw Paige Pierce actually ace his hole at the 2016 I think that's World right. Championships, think that's the doubles. Right. So Mark has been taking this same hyzer flip disc, gets it to flat, yeah. but it's just a little bit low. A little secret about this hole. Yeah. You don't really want to play it dead straight. Yeah. The shot on this hole is like a fairway driver that kind of finishes left on the side of that hill. Yes. Anything that goes it straight, it just funnels right, funnels right, kind of like that. I mean, you can get lucky and get kicked through it occasionally, but the shot miss left, and you'll have a putt every time. Yeah, so this is too much turn for Billy. That's never going to be a nope. clear putt, nope. unfortunately. Well, maybe not never. Well, yeah, but, but it isn't today. today. <laughs> Smitty is following him as well. That's, See what I'm saying? That's pulled right. Everybody's and, pushing yeah, right. Those bushes over there are jail. Jail. There's there's not much out of there. Webster, last to tee, sitting on a three-stroke lead at this point with lots of birdies in front of him. This is getting a little high, but moving left, that's eh, that's okay. A little bit rejected. It's, yeah, not it's the not easy. Not the best group of tee shots no. from our lead card competitors here today. You typically see a couple of people inside the circle here, but some jump putt opportunities. Ooh. Oh, he one timed it. Great. That was looking. That was looking good. Great really look was. from Anderson. Yeah, stretch out patent pending. Little turnover here for Smitty, and good on him to not try and get to the basket. Mm -hmm. He's not going to make it. No. Probably not. So he didn't even test the edge. Just kind of plays to a safe spot where he can get up and down for that par. I'm guessing Kyle really wanted this birdie after yes. seeing everybody else. An opportunity to get another stroke on the, the card. Yeah, that's right. So this is going to be Shintaku from a straddle. Best look from about 30-ish feet, mm -hmm. 35 maybe. Yeah. And there is OB. Oh, nice Nice putt. conversion there for Brian. There yeah. is OP relatively close to the backside of this basket as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can't just blast something down mm -hmm. there. You really do have to control your speed into the screen. Good par pickup there for Smitty. Kyle taking his time even on these short putts. Have to. Can't not take anything for granted. Good conversion. Yeah, nothing feels worse than stepping up yeah. to one of those 15-footers, taking it for granted and dinking it or hitting yeah. the right side chains and splashing out those are rough yes they so, yeah, absolutely are bunch of pars here on to hole 11 hole 11 395 feet i've seen this this hole before on sports center oh that's where it was yes yeah and also, somebody on this card yes and billy oh. engel oh yeah ringing it up ringing this hole up for the ace back in i don't know 20 14 maybe way yeah, back in the day 14 or 15 somewhere in there maybe the last year we played jones east but th basically this is a tee shot that you're throwing a fairway maybe a distance driver for some of us but you just want to really mash on something low and just make sure you clear the water give yourself a look yep good shot there for shintaku Anderson kind of playing the shape that we see most popularly here, which is that little hyzer flip up to flat. Nice. And then a little bit of left finish. He'll be inside the circle. All right, Billy. Can we can we do how, it again, Billy? How much pressure is on Billy on this? Every team, single time he's thinking like, yeah. dude, I gotta hit it. I gotta do it. I gotta make it. I and, feel like Billy should have approached our, our guys, Anthony and Danny, and just said, Hey guys, just when you when you play this clip, yeah, just throw in the ace clip. Yeah, just just don't show my shit. Just shot. so people remember. So both Billy and 
uh, Chris Smith playing those, getting a little bit more turn than they, than they were anticipating. They're Drifting to the, the right, right where that where that old pin used to be. Yeah, used that's to have right. a, a basket position over there. Oh no! Webster back to the fusion felon. Oh taking no! Taking a tick off the tree, and that is out of bounds. That's a big, big, big mistake from yeah. Kyle. That's not something you see. No, because it's not lack of distance whatsoever. It's no. just missing that line a little bit. Just pulled it a little bit right. And that's not a gimme there for Kyle. He's it's still going to have to think about it just a bit. Chris Smith with a nice approach to the basket. Just probably trying to put it there. Yeah, probably. Knowing like, he's picking up a stroke. That's right. Probably about 80 feet from that yeah. point. And Billy is oh, Billy. off to the right. He told one of our uh, videographers here, Anthony, that – He's only birdied this hole once oh, since no. acing it. <laughs> I would have never played it again. Yeah, that's it. Like guys. a walk off. I'm never coming back. <laughs> Brian's putt is just high and settles near the basket. Oh wow! Landed Anderson on top. Lands it on top. That means we're gonna have no birdies here on hole eleven. That's you don't see that often from uh, this from hole's, MPO cards. Yeah, this hole's playing over par for this group. That's not good, man. No, that's surprising. But we are coming down the stretch. Yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe pressing a little harder than they need to be. Good look at the transit oh, card it's there. It's, it's good weather. Pull those carts around. Yeah. Get out and play some yeah. disc golf before it gets cold, please. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hole number 12. It's kind of our signature hole on Jones East. 320 feet downhill to the elevated basket. Basically, the tee shot, you want to get as close to those bricks as you humanly possibly can. Yeah, if you get on top, then it's a bonus. Yeah, that's a dollar. That's right. I have yet to pay out a dollar to anybody. That's true. You're not wrong. Great shot that's from good Shintaku. Maybe just... Five ten feet outside the rocks, yep. great spot. This is where if if you get in a bad position and get aggressive on this basket, I've seen multiple three and four putts just from people who refuse yep. to just give up and lay it up. Yep. Or had a longer par putt than you had a birdie putt is never fun and it happens all the time on this hole. That's right. Good shape from Anderson, and this is early left for Angle. That's safe, but just not That's in a, a great spot. I mean, that, that you have to lay that up. This is the shot I like. You throw it right at the tree on the right and let it hyzer skip up into the rocks. Walk away with your birdie. Yep. It looked like it was mid-range from uh, from Smitty there, probably an Emac Truth or a Verdict. This is Ati from Webster. He likes that hyzer as well. Yeah, that Although that's a little, a little bit short. short. That's, not a, that's not a gimme. This is Engel from 55, but feels quite a bit longer with that elevation. That's a good bid. Yeah. I mean, that's a great bid. Yeah. Scared the basket, kept it in the rocks. That's good. Now, as Kyle, you have to go for this. Definitely. And it's it's not... When you see Smitty under the basket, knowing he's picking up another one, you got to get aggressive, but you got to get the putt. That's right. That's right. Yeah, just slow for Anderson there, unfortunately. Shintaku Taco. meets the same fate. Slouches his shoulders. Mm, I know that feeling, We've all been there, man. buddy. We've all been there. So Smitty's going to pick up the solo birdie after multiple close opportunities. Also surprising. I mean, these these three holes are birdie, birdie, birdie. Yes. And the last two, we're even. We're even par on the last two holes. Yeah, not not great, man. No. Only one under across all three of those. Yeah, yeah that's I, true. If we're out yeah. playing east, like I'm definitely trying to get two of them. Yep. If I walk off with one or fewer, it's like, man, mm -hmm. that wasn't a very good little loop. Not at all. 425 feet is how far hole 13 is. Got OB all down the right side. The houses, you got OB across the creek on the left side and OB long. This is a this is kind of a bonus almost. I mean, you can get within putting range, but you've got to really open up to get this 425 feet. That's right. This this 425 feels longer for some reason. It absolutely does, but it's gettable. It's yes. definitely gettable. You just want to play something out that right side and kind of let it skip in. Yeah, and this is a great-looking shape from Smitty. Settling in right around that 50-foot range, yep. and that's kind of a common collection yep. area on this hole. 
Shintaku. Is this a Ballista Pro? Kind of looks like yep. it. It's a little more ride to the right than he'd like, and he's unfortunately going to catch that tree, but stay in bounds on the right side. Got Mark flipping up to flat. Just coming in front of Taco's tree. Yeah. But, but still quite a bit short. Probably should be an easy up and down, though. Yes, probably 100 or 120 from there. Oh, Billy just absolutely gets slapped by that branch. Yeah. And that's not going to be an easy up and down. That looked like Ballista Pro from Webster, and I'm surprised. And it looks like Air Ballista Pro. I'm mm -hmm. surprised to see him take something with that much turn. I know that he's got the power to get there on a hyzer. Yes, he does. So maybe just trying to play it a little bit more smoothly, but. So nobody's really in position for the birdie on this one. Yeah, only Smitty from about 50. Wow, what a shot from yeah, Billy there. Out of position from a shot he's never practiced from. You, you can take that to the bank. He's never thrown a disc from no, that spot before. No, no. Brian with a nice layup to the right. Drifting a little right, but stayed in bounds it looked like. Yep. This Smitty. is Smitty to pick one up and tie this up. Oh, and he does it. Bangarang Peter, he rings it. Good, Get a good another look at that putt from Smitty. Standing still, opting to not go with that yep. step putt. That's that old school play. Yeah. That's what I, I respect it. Oh, Kyle, so close to match the birdie. So Brian's going to pick up his par. Billy's going to feel good about that par save. Yep. You don't want to have to save par here. No. But three it feels better than, than what it should have yeah. been. Kyle's in for par, and we are tied up at the top, 16 unders. Yes. Hole number 14, 390, uphill. Pond is directly behind it, but this is a very, very long 390. Yep. This hole, you can get up here and get a birdie. It's kind of in this flatter area, but you're really pumping on one to get there. And if you pump on it, too hard, chance you're going in the pond. That's right. Smitty hasn't quite gotten this over to the right as much as he'd like. That's going to gather at the bottom of the hill. And Popular for the, spot. Yeah, for the shots that don't get turned over enough, that's where a lot of them will end up. Same thing for mm -hmm. Shintaku. The shape of the two trees right off the box force you to kind of play a little hyzer flip a little bit. Yep. And that's starting to drift right for Anderson, but still not holding. That's that's, that's around better. seventy that, that's feet. That's like maybe. a jumper. Yeah, jumper layup though. Yeah, it's a it's a long putt to make. Billy's got the shape that you're looking for. Billy's got sneaky distance. Yes, he does. Look at this. Oh, unfortunately, it snuck oh him all the way to the pond. Goodness. That was crushed. Wow. And when I say you can go in the pond, I mean you can go in the pond quite a bit further left than that, not past yes. the basket. Yeah. Like, that was a legit, like, ace run. Yeah, that was crushed. This is a huge forehand from Webster. Yes. That's a putt, but it's not by any means a gimme putt. No, no, no. He's probably still 40 feet or so, but on level footing with the mm -hmm. basket. So prudent layup from Smith there. It'll be the same thing for Shintaku. They're just, even if you're trying to jump putt and reach the basket, it's just hard to reach from it this is, far away. It is, because if you get it too high and it starts drifting left, you're bringing water into play. Yes, you are. <laughs> Mark says he's trying to give it a bit. We've all been there from yeah. down that hill. Webster with. Looks like he kind of maybe rushed that putt a little bit. Kind of feeling yeah. the pressure. Really wanted it, needed it. Oh, just, that's brutal. Just a little too much to the right for Engel. One of those yeah, that, that was just half and half. Right. Yeah, you'd love to see it stay, yeah. but sometimes they don't. And was that the safe par? Was he in fact? I, I couldn't tell if he was pond. out of bounds. It or was not. close. We'll find and out. And I know shortly. that pond isn't marked. It's water's edge, so right. it's 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 tough. Right. It it looked like he was on some sort of grass. Mm -hmm. Billy's going to wait his turn while Smitty taps in for his part. Well, yeah, Billy was. was. Fact OB. Yep, unfortunately out. So we're still tied up at the top. Tie ball game. 351 feet, par three. I think that 351 is going to be more like 315, maybe 310 even for this short position here. 
Uh, the tree that we just flew by is no longer there, so you don't got to worry about that little guy. Uh, putter shot, forehand shot, it's another one of those coming down the stretch that you want to birdie. So big forehand out over the left side for Smitty. That's going to be quite a bit short, though. Mm -hmm. 40-ish, 45. Ooh, Taco Brian. bringing the pole into play. Yeah, mid-range down the middle. Once again, a little bit short, probably a similar distance to Smitty. This forehand is certainly here if you have it, but you've got to push it pretty far out to beat these little trees. Yep. And, I mean, even if you don't miss the tree, or, yeah, if you hit the trees, it's not bad. It's not the no. end of the day. Like, this looks pretty good. Maybe going to finish a touch right, but oh, great for the long position. Yeah, and pretty good for the short not position. Not bad. Yeah, you know, Lucid X Enforcer once again there for Webster. Billy, this this looks like it would be a rock three or something. Billy's like just that. mashing drives today. Yeah, and smooth. Just mashing everything. Everything's long. Yeah, so unfortunately that is going to trickle out of bounds for him. He'll be putting for par. That's a little stepper from Mark. Yeah, Anderson's look at Birdie, and this is Smitty for the lead. Oh just off the right. Not super pleased with his effort there. <laughs> Taco's saying he's just going to lay up anyway. Perfect. <laughs> oh, good good plan then. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, big All putt there right. for Webster. Kind of finally getting back on the train yeah. a little after some struggle. Good save for Engel. Yeah, this is one if you go B, you have a pretty pretty easy look at your, your birdie. Look or at par save. Look at Mark Anderson being conscious of the camera. What a nice guy. He is a super nice guy, right? Leaning out of the way while Brian puts. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. You'll have to see it. Could see more of that. Hole 16, 375 downhill. Uh, tee shot between these two seaters. There's a tree kind of off to the right that I like to throw a stable mid at and just kind of let it hyzer in. It's deceiving as well. Uh, you think it looks like a great shot. You get there. You come up short. It looks like you've thrown a fantastic shot. You're in the woods long. Yeah, it's it's tough to get the speed exactly right on this hole. Because all you can see from the tee is basically the chains. Yep. Yeah, so Webster taking that overstable fairway in the AT, and that's Excellent a great shot. shot. That's such a good feeling right there to have a one-stroke lead going into 16 and then parking the hole. Yes. Explorer for Smitty. This is a little, maybe just a little left of where he would intended, short. but... Yeah, he's probably going to be around 40-ish. If you there. see the disc skip, you know you haven't thrown it far enough. That's right. Good shape for Shintaku, drifting a little bit left. Not too much, Not though. Bad, he's pretty though. much yeah. right in line with the basket. And that's just going to be low for Anderson. He knew it wow. out of his hand. That's the one thing you don't really want to do on this hole on this downhill shot is miss low. Yeah, even if it goes a little long, sometimes you can find something yep. out of there. Or get lucky. Yep. Billy turned this a little too much. Billy going long again. Standard at this point. Man. He's been hitting the weights I guess. lately. And uh, he hasn't been posting about it much. He's a humble guy. Yeah, he's very humble. But everyone knows he's, he's quite strong. He aces and throws long. That's right. Clutch, big putt time putt from Smitty. Yeah, that's that's necessary to keep pace with mm -hmm. Webster. Oh, Ooh, little dancer. Yeah, there's some nice birdies from our lead card so far. Webster, in to uh, maintain his one-stroke lead. Anderson will card the par, and last the putt will be. Billy Engel, a little bit of an obstructed stance, but he's no more than 15 feet from yeah. the basket. He's going to leave Anderson all alone in the cold with his par. Love it. Just sh shivering and being oh, sad. And so that he it, got is, a three. it does look very shivery. In yeah, this, this that's true. <laughs> uh, hole 17, 405, slightly downhill. Another one of those holes that is kind of deceiving in distance, but one that you're going to want to get. As a, as a righty, you want to kind of push that the tree line on the right side. Um, if I'm Kyle Webster, I'm probably throwing a massive forehand at this hole. Though. Yes, definitely. That's exactly what he opts for. A little bit of turn, needing some fade. Ooh. 
treated fade is going to get him to 45. Wow. This plays as a short 405 as it well. It does. Um, a lot of times we're throwing mid range or fairway <laughs> at it. And this is going to be. Oh. oh I was going to say a little man. inside for Smitty, but probably in a good spot to putt. Yes. This is that straight line shape from Shintaku. Ooh, little kiss little off kiss. the tree. That'll that'll get him into a putting position, probably 55 or 60. See if Billy can continue the trend. Yeah, same disc that he threw on 16. A little bit of turn, a little bit of fade. He, he actually came Just up long. a little short. Oh. It looked did, like it was short on the right side. Well, we're going to take another look at it with Maybe the flat line here. That's just a beautiful shape when you can control a disc oh, it like did, that. Oh, it did go long. I, I'm wrong. Look at that. I mean, we haven't done drug testing in these events, but maybe we should for steroids. S start with Billy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the most notorious <laughs> oh, steroid man. user in this golf. God, I love Billy. He's oh, such a nice yeah, dude. I love Billy to death. He's great. Nice looking shot for Anderson. Stepper for Smitty. Smitty. wants it. Not much more to do from there no. with the woods right behind. Shintaku sitting in solo fourth. Look oh, at him. come on, man. Look at him. Run it down. Hey. Run yeah. it. High five. <laughs> yeah, it's a great shape from uh, from Shintaku. Just knew it. Yeah, getting some lessons from A.J. Risley on the rundown. Just knew it Giving was him in. the first down and the high five. I like the high five. Waving to his adoring fans. Yes. And that's going to be just short and left for Webster. So he's going to take a one-shot lead. He's going to maintain it, though, into, into, final into his final hole. That's that's better than what it could Ooh, be. Big-time stepper for Anderson. He's going to maintain third place there. Another one that just looked great yep. all the way. And this is not an easy putt. That is – oh. Wow. And I did not know that that Yeah, we haven't out. watched this before. And I'll tell you, that is not an easy putt. It was a touch touch right, but to maintain a one-stroke lead going into the next hole, that yeah. is not a gimme. Yeah, with some branches kind of grabbing onto you as yeah. well from back there. Dynamic Discs Custom Rush Program can have your custom discs on their way in 24 hours. Visit dynamicdiscs.com slash rush. Come on, Doug. Come on. You're going to want to prepare see, ahead of time. Well, did you see Doug's calendar? It had nothing on it but the tournament, and he forgot his discs. Come but on, thankfully, man. we have that place in order that you can, you can custom run some discs. You're, custom rush some discs. Now you're set. So. Hole 18, the final hole, 340 feet. OB all down the left side, and the right side might as well be OB. It's not, but it's a tree line, and it kind of acts as OB. If you throw in there, you're most likely just pitching out. That's right. The forehand thrower or lefty is at a... Great advantage yes. here is it's just a standard hyzer for them. We'll see the right-hand, backhand players throw this shape of shot. Beautiful What a Brian. great shot, What Brian. a great way to finish out the round. Yeah. A little bit on the edge, but still in a good spot. Billy Sneezed looking to like, hold. Looks kind of like a, a beat-up mid-range or something like that, maybe a rock. I'm not really sure. This is turned over. That's a good one. That's limb. a good tree. Big forehand from Smitty. This is tracking. Great shot. Oh, to put yeah. some pressure on, on, on Webster. Throwing that Lucid X Enforcer again. Good angle here from Webster. Good results wow. here as well. That's it's a couple of the old Park Johnsons. Yes. Oh, we need that to. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just he went from like a hundred percent make to probably ninety percent mm -hmm. there, and maybe a little less after his last putt, being in his head a little bit. That straddle from the uh, the brush. That's right. Just a little something to think about. Shintaku shows them the way from just out Finishes of the Finishes with edge. a turkey. That's, That's solid. Solid. Kyle absolutely knows he needs this putt. Yeah, big time focus there with some branches hitting his arm on the way. Still thinking about hole 17. I almost guarantee it. For sure. No doubt about that. Smitty with an unobstructed birdie putt. And that means more golf. More golf. 
Oh. Oh, simultaneous the simo tap put out. These guys. The simo par out. Wow. I like it. Big stuff. So we go to hole number eight for our playoff hole, to start the playoff hole, rather. Still the same 370 foot downhill OB everywhere hole. Um, let's see if we can get some redemption on this hole from the last time. Yeah, not many birdies. Yeah. It's a, it was a strange one, no doubt about it. Was. It was. Smitty's going to go back to that Explorer. This is low, but tracking beautifully. And that's a bit short. He's, that is short. That tree's only, it's probably 45 or 50 45, feet away. Yeah, yeah. Door opens for Kyle. This needs to get stable. It's doing so, but, oh, yeah, that's that's a, not a bad result. It's that's going to be a, still not an easy putt. Yeah, 28-ish. Oh, wow. Off the top band for Smitty. So probably around circle's edge yeah. for Kyle. Makes it Bang. jam sesh for the win. Awesome to see him suppress his nerves there after that unfortunate mm -hmm. push out on the right side. Come back out on top after yeah. such a lot of people would just falter. Round. Yeah, after that, yeah, he did kill it the first round at Jones West, and it was good to see these guys playing Jones East. Beautiful day for it. Yeah, and I, I believe Webster's first round was unofficially rated in the 1050s. That's so, yeah, I think it was 1053 maybe or one or something like that. I saw it was yeah. solid. Yeah, I believe the kids say he was spitting the hot fire. That's what they're saying now. Yeah. Oh. Something along those okay. lines. But right. great competition from those guys, our, our entire lead card. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Dynamic Discs Open. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that every time we have some new content for you, you can check it out. Yes, sir. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Sweep the leg. Sweep it. Out.